In this video, I'm going to demonstrate this ZVS Tesla coil, which is driven, driven by a ZVS driver, but we're actively driving the gates using a signal generator, and we're passing the input to the ZVS using a, a ramped output from this Arduino, which is ramped through this buck converter to the ZVS driver. We have a series of resonant caps here. These are a bunch of mica caps. And um, here's our breakout point. So instead of letting the ZVS driver oscillate spontaneously by itself, we're going to actively drive the gates. The problem with ZVS drivers, ZVS oscillators that are self-oscillating is that they have this habit of changing frequency when you change the voltage on them, which can uh, damage or destroy your switches. So in this case, I'm using IRFP260. Uh, MOSFETs, there's two of them here, they function as a full bridge and we're going to drive this core. And I've been working on this project with another YouTuber by the name of Arc Angel, who's been messing with this and has got some great results. And uh, both of us have been collaborating on this project using the Arduino, the buck converter, ZVS driver, and then a resonant um, Tesla coil. This one is um, made with very thin wire. So let's uh, let me display the output for you and uh, show you how well this thing can work. I just got this thing tuned. Um, I'm getting a bit of uh, interference between the output of the coil, producing a lot of radio frequency interference, which is messing with the function of the Arduino Uno. So it's uh, glitching a little bit, but it still works. All right, without further ado, let's fire it up. Just feeling these MOSFETs, they've gotten a little warm, but not hot, after that quite long run with quite high duty cycle. I'm driving the coil at 290 kilohertz from this signal generator. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.